Math Story Highest Common Factor HCF The Idea of Plantation Oh no! We have a big problem! Without food, our friends in this town will die and they really need our help. Indeed, the town nearby Samper Town is facing the worst drought. We need to come up with a clever plan to help the people of this town. I have a brilliant idea. Let's plant lots of delicious vegetables and juicy fruits in Samper Town. We can share them with our friends in the drought affected town. And guess what? We have a special gadget from Uncle Science that can help our plants grow super fast. Good idea! Your favorite hobby, gardening, can actually help this time. Everyone is excited and decides to work in pairs to grow their favorite vegetables in Sampa Town. They rush to the nursery and collect magical seeds that grow really fast. Sirha and Sirho are in Sirha's colorful garden, ready to start planting their seeds. Look Sirho, we have 12 amazing spinach seeds and 20 juicy tomato seeds. I think we should plant an equal number of seeds in each row. That's a great idea Sirha. It will make counting easier and our garden will look beautiful. But... Mm, how do we divide our seeds such that each row has an equal number of seeds and no seeds are left? I think we should place 3 seeds in each group. We can divide 12 spinach seeds into 4 groups with each group having 3 seeds. Hmm, I don't think that will work because we have 20 tomato seeds. It's impossible to divide them equally into groups of three. Oh yes, two tomato seeds are still left. How should we divide them? Let us try placing five seeds in each group. We can divide 20 tomato seeds into four groups with each group having five seeds. I think the mystery is not yet solved, Siro, as it is impossible to divide 12 spinach seeds completely into a group of 5. This is so time consuming and confusing. What should we do now? Hey kids, I heard about your plantation initiative, so I have come to see how it is going. Uncle Matt, things are not going well. Ha <laughs> ha! No fear when I'm here! To divide the seeds such that they are equally arranged in groups and nothing is left, you need HCF. HCF? Is it like a secret code or something? No, no, Sirha. HCF stands for Highest Common Factor. HCF is the highest possible number that can divide the given two numbers completely without leaving any remainder. I'm still confused. Alright, let me explain. Can you tell me the factors of 12? I know about factors. Factors divide the given number such that there is no remainder. So the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. Sirha is right. Sirho, can you tell me the factors of 20 as well? Yes, I can tell you the factors of 20, Uncle Math. They are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10 and 20. Can you pick the common factors of both the numbers? Oh, I know. Common factors are 2 and 4. Clearly, 4 being the highest of all the common factors becomes the HCF of 12 and 20. We should divide all seeds into groups of 4. But Uncle Matt, if we divide the seeds by 2, wouldn't they still be divided equally? Why do we choose 4? Good question, Sirha. Yes, you could divide them equally by 2. But it might take more time and make it tricky to count them all. 
Got it. So that means if we plant four seeds in each group, we will be able to plant them quickly and equally without leaving any seeds behind. Yay! We did it. Finally, the mystery is solved. We will make three groups to grow spinach with each group having four seeds and five groups to grow tomatoes with each group having four seeds. Our plantation looks great. Now let's use the special gadget from Uncle Science to make the seeds grow into plants in just one day. Hurrah! These look amazing and fresh. It is time to pack them up for the distributions. Treho and Squarrow are also back with their vegetables and fruits. Together, they help many people in the town. Indeed, this wonderful idea of a plantation has made a big difference. Hello kids! Today we have learned about the new concept of highest common factor, HCF, which is also called greatest common divisor, GCD. HCF highest common factor is the highest possible number that can divide the given two numbers completely without leaving any remainder. HCF can be calculated by the following methods using prime factorization using the long division method. Here for finding the HCF of 24 and 36 by the prime factorization method, first write both numbers as the product of their prime factors. 24 can be written as the product of 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3, while 36 can be written as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. Then look for the common factors in both numbers. So the common factors here are 2, 2 and 3. And the product of all the common factors is the HCF. So 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 gives 12. And 12 is the HCF of 24 and 36. Isn't it so simple? No fear when I'm here. Let's discuss. Who proposed the brilliant idea of plantations? Sirha! What were the vegetables grown by Sirha and Sirho? Tomato and spinach. Which mathematical concept helped to group seeds equally? HCF. Download the Uncle Math mobile app to your Apple or Android mobile device. Stay tuned. To enjoy viewing more such math stories, songs and games, please like, share and subscribe to our channel.